During the Golden Globe Awards, Oprah Winfrey's speech grabbed the attention of many liberals across the country. In fact, it didn't take long before they all banded together and began to beg for President Oprah. However, how much money she's banking, thanks to all their hype, was just exposed. We don't know for certain if Oprah Winfrey will run for president in 2020, but as recent events have proven, liberals are thrilled with the idea. In fact, all it took for them to get on board with the possibility of a president Oprah was to listen to her Golden Globe speech since that's apparently all it takes to be a presidential nominee, and qualified for the highest office in the United States. While Oprah accepted her Lifetime Achievement Award at the Golden Globes, she presented a written acceptance speech, which was filled with the leftist rhetoric that you'd expect to hear from a Democrat politician, and it was eerily similar to what we heard from community organizer Barack Obama. Of course, for leftists, the fluffy prepared words qualified her as the future Democratic presidential nominee, and the commander-in-chief. For them, it only gets better when you consider that she's not only African American but a female too. The hopeful and ignorant left did more for Oprah than they ever imagined, and it was due to all the hype they created. All of the attention Oprah garnered following her speech has her raking in quite a bit of cash. In fact, according to USA Today, Oprah's Golden Globe speech and potential candidacy has made her a lot of money. As the left gloats about how perfect she would be as their presidential candidate to go up against President Donald Trump in 2020, she's doing what liberal elites do best, fattening her own bank account. Oprah owns approximately 10% of Weight Watchers and is a very public face of the company. Following her Golden Globe speech, along with the rumors and discussions of her running for office, the company's stock has skyrocketed. According to The Blaze, in one day, the stock price went up 12.2%, closing at $52.62. Oprah Winfrey first bought Weight Watchers stock in 2015, when it was just $6.79, investing $43.2 million. From just Friday to Monday, she's made a paper profit of more than $36 million, thanks to Monday's boost. Of course, this is just only amounts to lose change for Oprah whose current net worth is estimated to be at $2.8 billion. As of Tuesday, it still appears that she's only going to get richer. Colin Oprah Winfrey first bought Weight Watchers stock in 2015, when it was just $6.79, investing $43.2 million. From just Friday to Monday, she's made a paper profit of more than $36 million, thanks to Monday's boost. Of course, this is just only amounts to lose change for Oprah, whose current net worth is estimated to be at $2.8 billion. As of Tuesday, it still appears that she's only going to get richer. Oprah has yet to confirm or deny any intentions of running for President of the United States in 2020, but I'm sure she's enjoying the bank account boost that the rumors are providing. I'm just glad I got through the speech, Oprah said. I thought a lot about it. I wanted this to be a meaningful moment. Just because President Donald Trump was able to win the election, that doesn't mean any celebrity can or should do it. Trump was willing to put his life on hold not only to campaign and win the hearts of Americans but also for the tenure of his presidency. Truly, he's sacrificed more than any other modern-day president in order to serve his country by holding office. Not many of the rich and famous would be so willing to selflessly do the same. Of course, since the news of Oprah's potential 2020 campaign broke, even the White House has welcomed anyone who wants to run against President Trump. Clearly, the president and his administration know that they're doing right by the American people, and that voters will notice this, so they aren't worried about who the left brings to the table. As for Oprah Winfrey, I highly doubt she'd have her own business endeavors take a back seat like Trump did, so she could be president. But, she sure is liking the windfall that the rumors have brought her way, so I doubt she'll squash them anytime soon. With all this money coming in, perhaps she should try some of that wealth redistribution the Democrats love to talk about so much. With $2.8 billion already, she's got a lot to go around. You get a million, you get a million, and you get a million. Yeah, I don't see that happening either.